Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm bringing you a declutter video. Um, this is the first of hopefully a series of declutters. I started accumulating a bit more product than I feel I should have. Um, by no means is it as huge as some other YouTubers out there, but I just don't feel like I was getting enough use out of some products and why are they sitting in there when I don't really use them. So today is going to be video number one um, and then if there are any other declutters that you would like to see in the future, leave it in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so like I said in the intro there, I am decluttering and this is all my face base products, I guess. Um, so we're going to start with the primers here and then we will move on. And I know I'm only getting rid of a couple items from here, but it does need some decluttering because this is the container that it all fits in and it doesn't fit in that anymore. So first off for the primers, I know I'm keeping these two here. This is the Benefit Porefessional, um, one of my holy grails. It does a really good job of filling in pores and giving you an even base for your foundation. So I'm keeping this, just set that over there. And then I also have the Makeup Forever Step 1 in yellow, which I just got from Sephora and I'm really liking it. So I'm definitely keeping this one as well. The one that I'm gonna get rid of here is the Hard Candy um, Longwear Primer. This is a travel size I got for like a dollar. Um, it's not a bad primer, I just don't reach for it. And quite frankly, someone else could get much more use out of this. So I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, so next we will do these BB creams over here. I only have a couple. Um, so this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB in the shade 510 Fair. Um, I'm going to do a review first impression on this, so I'm keeping this one because I haven't opened it yet. And then this is the Tarte BB 12 Hour Priming. It's, it's a big name. Um, this is in the shade Light. I got it in a kit that I recently got from Sephora and it's honestly just a little too dark for me. I used it once trying to make it work for my skin tone and it didn't work for me, so I'm going to pass this along to somebody else. So next we'll do this stack of concealers over here. I've tried to group everything together. Um, so first I'm going to, I know I'm keeping this. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair. Um, this is a really nice full coverage drugstore concealer. Um, it does crease a little bit on me, but if I set it with a powder, it's totally fine. And I really do like it. A little bit goes a long way. I use it a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. Next, the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. I'm keeping this. I use it for my waterline as well as going around my brows to make them look more natural and blended in. And I really do enjoy this. Okay, so next, this is the Balms Time Balm Concealer. It is a cream type concealer. You can see it's gotten well used because the sponge is kind of dirty here. Um, I do like this. It's very nice. It's full coverage and it blends really nice. So I'm keeping this. And then I also have this Pixie Correction Concentrate in the shade Brightening Peach. Um, this is a cream uh, color corrector type thing. I use this for dark circles under my eyes and I do like this. So I'm keeping this as well. Next, we've got these Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have not opened them yet because I'd like to do a first impression on them. I have the shade Fair and the shade Light. Um, I'm going to pass along the light to somebody else because when I brought it home and looked at it, I realized it was just a bit too dark um, as far as concealers go. It would be good for my face if I had a pimple or something, but under the eyes where I want more brightness, the Fair would be a better fit for me. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to pass along the light. These two right here, I know I'm getting rid of. This is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Depuffer Puffer Concealer. It is a nice concealer. Um, it's a bit dark for me. The cap is a little dirty and it's got this uh, metal piece that's supposed to help depuff and cool your eye area. I had no effect whatsoever on the depuffing of my under eyes. Um, so basically it was just a concealer for me and I'm actually gonna pass this along to like my mom or somebody and see if they wanna finish it up. Okay, then this last one is a travel size of the Hard Candy Glamouflage. This used to be my 
hands down favorite concealer until I discovered the Maybelline uh, Master Conceal. So um, this is in the shade Fair and I honestly just don't reach for it anymore and there's still quite a bit in the tube. I think I used it maybe one time. So I'm gonna see if one of my friends wants to take that. Okay, next for foundations, I'm gonna try and stretch them over here without them rolling off the table. All right, so I have more than I need when it comes to foundations and I do have more on the way. So this first one here is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. And this is in the lightest shade, which is light porcelain. Um, I do really like the formula of this for foundation and I do really like um, honestly, the coverage it gives, it's just the wrong shade. This is too pink for me. Um, I can't really use it. It doesn't blend well on me. So I'm going to declutter this. Next, I've got my Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 1. Um, I'm keeping this. I just got this from Sephora and it matches me perfectly. The coverage is awesome and I love the way it feels on my skin. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. So yes, I am keeping this one. I got a lot of Maybelline ones in here. Okay, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Plus Balance Foundation Stick. Um, I like this for traveling as well as for those days where I just want to swipe something on my face and be done with it. It feels really light and it has decent coverage and it doesn't make me oily, so I like that. Next, I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. And um, I do really like this so far. It does make me a little bit slick, but it's summer and I do tend to go slick anyways. So I like the way it feels and it matches me pretty closely. So I'm keeping this. Next is my favorite drugstore foundation ever. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110 porcelain. I love this. It's not a full coverage. It's probably about a light to medium. You can build it up. Um, it sits really nice on the skin and it really just, I can't say enough good things about it. I honestly just love it. If you're looking for a good drugstore foundation, they have tons of different shades, corresponding powders. It's just, it's a great line. It's really good. This one here is the Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily in the shade 110 Ivory. Um, I do like this foundation, I do, but I find that this shade doesn't really match me as well as I thought it did. I don't know if they went through a rebranding or something. They do have pumps on the bottle now, which they didn't before when I first started buying it. And this just looks a little bit too pink for me. I used it maybe one time so far. So I'm gonna see if someone else would like to use that and if not, I will have to toss it. All in all, this is everything I'm getting rid of here and this is everything I'm keeping. They all fit nicely in here now, so it's a little bit better. I don't know how I stuffed all that in there beforehand. Um, if you like videos like this and you'd like to see more declutter videos, let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully you will hit that little red subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye guys.